Welcome back to the Earth Science Classroom. We are looking at volcanoes, looking at scoria and syndicone volcanoes. These are really cool types of volcanoes that form around the world with a, diff with a special kind of formation. Uh, we're going to get into it in this video. We're going to look at these uh, main parts to the scoria and syndicone volcanoes. We're going to definitions, what these words mean. Once we know the, the root or the origin of the world, we can figure out the, uh, the rest of it, including the magma, the formation, how it's formed, the characteristics of these volcanoes, and of course, where we're going to find them locations. So the word scoria actually comes from or means vascular fragments is little bits of material, and vascular means that it has holes. Okay, this means that the gas is the volcano is going to spit out little bits of rock, little bits of lava, little bits of a combination of large like lapilli, a large uh, medium-sized tephra. And as it's flying through the air, it's going to cool down, it's going to consolidate, and it's going to form a piece of material, a pyroclastic material that has little holes in it. It's lighter, like pumice, like tough. And it, as it's flying through the air, the gas is going to be released back in the atmosphere, and it's going to leave this cool in rock with little holes and it's going to fall down and we call this scoria now cinder cinder is a term for basically burns similar to scoria but in terms of more generic it's just more of a general general term compared to scoria so look at the magma and formation so if we these cinder volcanoes are very very small so they're generally below smaller than 300 meters and they usually form in groups or clusters around the same geographical area where it's a volcanic plateau or volcanic valley or one large uh, stratovolcano. Let's say you have a stratovolcano, right? Big, nice strato. I did a video on this as well, which you can check out. The strato might be putting out huge amounts of tephra during its uh, multi-stage eruptions and in between obviously a long time but when it does erupt and it would actually bring down a lot of tephra and the tephra and the tuff and this you know scoria material could build up and form a smaller volcano on the side now it has a distinctive larger crater and it can be very very steep slopes but this is how the scoria or syndicone volcanoes are formed either through a, an area of volcanic activity which is spewing up the tephra, the ash, or next to a very large strato. So you've got a closer look at this volcano. You have a larger crater and, and part of the summit. It is uh, elevation in terms of the height. It's not uh, any, anything more than 300 meters or basically 900 feet or 1,000 feet. So very small compared to other volcanoes, especially shield. And you have these extremely steep slopes between 30 degrees to 40 degrees, so similar to the very summit of a strato, but extremely steep compared to a caldera or a shield volcano. But these are only made of like little mounds of deposited ash. Ash, tephra, tuff, basically just layers of this tephra deposit. And you might have a small uh, conduit system going through the middle you may have that, you may have a link to a, a smaller side magma chamber or part of a larger extensive magma chamber next to, let's say, a strato. Depends on the location. But you have these smaller cinder-made volcanoes and they're light and, and, and not as... There's, there's only, obviously, dry locations. It's just done through dry conditions. If, for example, there is a combination of water through, let's say, groundwater or an aquifer or maybe subduction zones, maybe the introduction of water plus the magma, you get a more explosive reaction, which is called pyretic. And this actually causes a different kind of cinder volcano, which is called a mar, which is a M-A-A-R. A mar volcano is the, is the result of a huge explosion with a massive like hole in the ground, but it's filled in with this this wetter 
ash or tephra, whereas a pure cinder cone or scoria is made in dry conditions with just no water, not much lava, but mostly just dry ash and tephra coming out of the volcano. So that means the, uh, the magma is going to be different than the, let's say, a strato. It's going to be more, more mafic or intermediate kind of magma, where you have that medium viscosity uh, to low viscosity because the gas uh, that which creates most of the ash cloud and the tephra, the gas and the broken bits of rock are going to be released in one shot, in one shot. So these magmas are could be acidic, could be basaltic, but uh, generally not going to be relative. It's going to be the medium to low magmas of viscosity and silica. And these uh, volcanoes are formed through one big eruption generally. And this is called monogenetic. So one big eruption is called monogenetic. Compared to a strato or a shield, that would be multiple eruptions that keep building the volcano larger and larger and larger. And that would be called polygenic. In inclusion, they are made from ash tephra deposit deposits. They are very small volcanoes based on their formation and the way they are formed through monogenic, monogenetic uh, eruptions. So single, long lasting eruptions. They have very steep slopes and a large crater, and they usually form in clusters or groups. Okay. So in terms of location, where do these bad boys occur? Well, they occur in the thousands all across the world. So they're pretty much all over the world, which is different to perhaps the strato, which is mostly found around the Ring of Fire and Pacific because of the, the way it's formed through subduction and eruptions so all over the world. And there are concentrations, obviously, of these volcanoes, for example, in Arizona on a volcanic field, a large area of volcanism. Uh, there's over 600 different cinder cones in this area of Arizona on this volcanic field, and they're kind of amazing to look at, from, from obviously from above and from the ground. And they also can occur on the sides of larger stratos or complex, complex or even compound volcanoes. Okay, complex means that it's a large volcano and there's different craters and uh, compound is just multiple cones multiple cones and large volcano whereas complex is it could the magma comes from anywhere you're not really sure where it comes from where the actual crater is but it's in this huge complex of volcanic activity and, and mountain range but they can these cinder cones can form on the side so for example mount etna which is has a strato and has a more, more of a complex volcano in Sicily. Cinder cones are on the side, uh, form on the side of Etna. This is the Earth Science Classroom. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the content. Uh, check out more videos on our channel and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you again.